Amac on the mix. Ugh. Yo, what up? It's your girl Amac back with another quick tip. And today I want to talk about using Identify Beat to manipulate the grid inside of Pro Tools. This is actually my favorite way to use Identify Beat, even though it's really great for helping you find the tempo of a song as well. Let's just dive right into it. So what happened in this session was that when the artist went to record, they just brought in an MP3 and that MP3 did not line up directly on the grid. Now you could use my friend tab to transient and then drag it back. I have a video about this. Uh, please check that out so you can avoid what's happening here and why I have to make this correction. But that's what's in front of us. So let me show you how to fix it. The artist did know that the tempo was 150. So when they're copying and pasting their hooks, there's no problem because the song is in time and is in tempo. I'm actually doing a lot of arranging on this session and we're going to be doing a lot of chopped vocals and cool effects and stuff so I need everything to be right on grid because otherwise it's just not going to work out even if the song is actually in the tempo. I'd have to do everything in slip mode and if you're doing timing things like nah it's not going to work out. So anyway what do you do? So even though the kick doesn't start until later in the song I'm going to use it as my ruler for this so identify beat can do what it does. So the first thing I need to do is to go to what my one is, the first kick here, and make sure that I'm right on the transient and I already have a really clean cut there which is great. And then I just highlight to the end of the song because that's as long as I need this ruler to be. I hit command I and as you can see here, it says 11212, 145.1212. That's telling you it's not directly on the first beat. So what do I do? I'm just going to hit 1. And as you can see, it changed the end to zeros. And then I'm going to go 145 and changes the end to zeros. That's exactly what I want. I press OK. And now when I zoom in, I can see that everything is on the grid. I will check at the end of the song as well. And yes, all the transients are on the 1 that's perfect. What you'll see up here is what Pro Tools did was that it was like, okay, it identified the beat. You know, it identified the tempo as 150, but it moved the grid to start right where my first transient starts. So I didn't have to move audio anywhere. And now the grid is perfect for me to start doing chops and arrangements and have the greatest time ever. And that's all I got for you guys today. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope it helps. Peace.